Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's look, I'm going to be doing this super cute orange eyeshadow tutorial, perfect for the fall time. So if you wanna see how I created this look, go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is prepping my skin. Uh, this is the First Aid Beauty Moisturizer. Then I'm going to be going in with primer. For primer today, I'm going to be using the Pore Professional by Benefit. This is the hydrating one. I also know they have their original formula and their illuminating formula, I believe. But I like the hydrating one because I live in Alaska and it's super dry up here. Then the next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with the foundation. And as you can see, I already started. I almost forgot to show it, but this is a Wet n Wild foundation in the shade Soft Ivory. And I like to just dump this all over my face and then go in with my beauty blender. The one I'm going to be using today is the one by Morphe. Um, they definitely have my favorite, most affordable beauty blender. But anyway, I'm going to be dabbing in the foundation and if I do need more I just add as I go Next, I'm going to be going in with concealer for today. I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer, the HD High Definition. This is in the shade Fairest, and I'm going to be putting that under my eyes, um, a little on my forehead, on, the, on my nose, and my Cupid's bow as well. And then going in with my same Beauty Blender and dabbing it all in again. Then I'm going to be setting my 
concealer and my foundation. I've been going in with this one with the setting powder by Anastasia. And then usually after I do that base makeup, I like to spritz my face with setting spray. Um, this is the Fix Plus by MAC. Then I'm going to be going in with the bronzer. This is the powder bronzer also by Anastasia in the shade Rosewood. And I'm going to be taking it on a kind of fluffy brush and putting it below my cheeks and on my forehead and my jawline as well. Then really quick, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera. If you want to know what I use, make sure you go and look at the description box. And if you would like to see a tutorial on how I do my brows, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. But anyway, the next step I'm going to be doing is priming my eyelids. I'm going to be going in with the eye primer also again by Anastasia. Um, this one is a really good one if you guys haven't tried it out yet. Um, I feel, I really feel like my eyeshadow seriously does not move at all when I use this. And I also like the color. It's a really nice base to any eyeshadow. So the first palette I'm going to be going in with is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette volume 2 and I know you can't see it because I'm dumb and didn't get it in the camera but the first shade I'm going to be going in with is called Certified and it's just a, another cream sh shade shadow and it's really just to set the eye primer that I just put down. Then I'm going to go in with the shade Homebody. This is a 
really warm orangey brown tone and I'm gonna be putting that right in my crease in my outer corner as well and blending it out. Then I'm going to be going in with the shade Feeling Myself, which is a, uh, a super hot toned orange color. And I'm going to be blending the darker orange shade out with this shade so it all just blends together. And I just want to make sure that everything blends well together and all my colors are still pigmented and show up. So I'm just going to be going in with some blending brushes to make sure everything just blends out perfectly. So then I'm going to be cutting my crease and I'm going to be using um, the LA Girl Concealer Pro Concealer. This is the white color corrector and the brush on here makes it super easy to cut your crease. So I'm just going to be doing that and then I'm going to be setting that concealer with the shade Certified again.
Then after I finish setting the cut crease I just made, I'm going to be going in with the shade Homebody again and really packing it onto my outer corner just so we can get rid of the line that the concealer made when I applied it on the lid. And then I'm just going to be taking that color and blending it out. So I really wanted to deepen up the look, so I went in with a any black shade eyeshadow. I don't think I used the one that was in the Jaclyn Hill palette because it did have some sparkle in it. So I just used any matte black shade and I deepened up my eye look a little bit. Then I'm going to be going in with the Hit the Lights palette by Morphe and I'm going to be using the shade called So Wild and I'm going to be putting that all over my lid. So I wasn't completely satisfied with this look, so I went in with the 24A Artist Pass palette by Morphe and went into this shade called Wild Out, and it's a super pretty orange glittery shade, and I just put that in the middle of my lid. I didn't put it all the way to the inner corner or anything, just pretty much where the eye blended out with the matte shade color. So now that that eye is done, I'm going to go ahead and zoom you guys in and quickly do my other eye.
So today for lashes, I'm going to be going in with my all-time favorite ones by Wink Mink. Um, I'll have them their website listed in the description box below. I highly recommend that you go and check them out. These are in the style, I believe it's called My Type. They are super beautiful, wispy, lots of volume, and pretty affordable in my opinion. Um, I've worn these like at least 10 times now and that's really a lot to get out of lashes. Then I'm going to be using eyeliner on my bottom lash line. This is the one by Benefit, the Bad Gal Bang Liner. And I'm also going to be using the Bad Gal Bang Mascara as well. That's my all-time favorite mascara. So then I'm going to be taking a super small flat brush and going back into the Jaclyn Hill palette and taking the shade called Talia, which is a super beautiful metallic gold shade and putting that in the inner corner of my eye. Then I'm going to be taking the shade Homebody again and just placing that shade under my eye. Then I'm going to be taking this Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick by Ofra in the shade Miami Fever. It's a super pretty orange brown matte shade and it seriously went perfect with this look. Then I'm going to be going in with this Anastasia Glow Kit. Um, I'm going to butcher their name, but it's Nicole um, Guerrero palette. I cannot roll my R, so I have such a difficult time saying her last name. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be using the shade Daydream. I'm going to be putting that on the top of my cheekbones, above my eyebrows, a little bit on my nose, and my cupid's bow. Then I'm going to go back in with my MAC Fix Plus and spritz my face and then fan myself off. And then I am done with this makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, 
thank you guys so much for watching my video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel before you leave, especially if you love makeup. Um, definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next one, okay? Bye.